Welcome to Crazy Jimmy's Used Cars, where you are the mark. We got this here 1999 Miata with over 150,000 experience points for sale for just $44.99. $44 this MX-5 Miata is one of the finest specimens you'll ever see as long as you don't look around too much. Comparison shopping sucks. And don't you worry about the menace of perfect paint. This Miata is pre-faded for your protection. Looks amazing if you squint. It's got two butt holders and a big round thing you can turn with your meat hooks. It's even got three metal things you can step on with your clompy feet. Three is more than two. It's even got a race approved roll bar that'll keep you from knocking your full head off if you should manage to flip her over. Of course, you'll probably still die from embarrassment at having flipped an almost unflippable car, but flip your weird. Hey, Crazy Jimmy. Can I do autocross in this thing? Well, you sure as hell can, little darling. You can slam it, drift it, take it to track days. It's perfect. Can I stance it? I mean, you could. What? If I buy it, it's my car, right? I can do what I want with it? I mean, I could put a ton of negative camber on the back wheels and stretch some skinny tires on some wide rims? Crazy Jimmy's not so wild about that idea, little sugar honey dumpling, but if you really wanted to... Shame on you, Crazy Jimmy. If I buy it, it's my own car and I can do what I want. <sighs> Fine, fine, yes, hell. You buy this car, you can find a way to bend over and drive it up your own ass if you want to. You just pony up that $44.99. $44.99. Seriously, do buy our car though. We need the cash so we can put butt holders in our exoset. It's true. But for now, let's get cracking on some bulkheads. Now I spent about a week researching and tinkering because I wanted the bulkheads to have a particular design called spotting. A lot of people call it a lot of different names like engine turning, jeweling, guilloche, the list goes on, but we're not machinists, so we don't really know for sure. The consensus seems to be that engine turning or jeweling are smaller than spotting. Here you can see some beautiful engine turning on a 1940 Buick dashboard. It didn't come from the factory like this. The owner added it. And this is a Bugatti 57C from Ralph Lauren's collection. Babe, we are in the wrong business. Let's make some clothes. <laughs> this is another Bugatti, a T37A. Look at that. It's gorgeous. This is probably the most famous example of spotting on the cowl of the Spirit of St. Louis, the plane Charles Lindbergh flew from New York to Paris in 1927. Sorry, no, that's not the most famous example. This is from the Hardys in Cumming, Georgia. Oh, stop it. That's a vinyl stick on, you cheater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, the point is I wanted to try to get that look. Now, some people said use the scratch bright pads, some said use Rolock discs. In practice, though, it was not easy at all to get the look we wanted. Nope, and nobody we knew had a drill press with enough swing to handle our panels. Our friends at Classic 73 Garage helped a lot but eventually advised us to give up. Yeah, drill presses are good at making themselves sound a lot more capable than they really are. An eight inch drill press has eight inches of swing, which means it can drill a hole in the center of a disc eight inches in diameter. I have six inches of swing. But if you measure from the column to the drill bit on an eight inch drill, it would only be four inches. So that would mean it means uh, you don't want to go around telling people you have six inches of swing, honey. Got it. Well, anyway, here's how our panel ended up before we gave up on the spotting idea and had someone media blast them for us instead. And here's how the panels ended up after media blasting. Pretty nice frosty coating. Yep. Now all we got to do is stick them on. I used way too much RTV, which made a huge mess, but I eventually got it cleaned up.
Now that we have holes drilled, we're using a Clico set to hold the panels in place. Clicos might be overkill here, but if you're going to be mounting any sheet metal, they're nice to have. Yeah, but don't bother asking your local hardware or big box store about them, because they'll just stare at you. You gotta order them from the inner thingy. Now that those bulkheads are mounted, we can put in some pedals. Yes, but first, a word about our sponsors, you. We're getting a little better at making a homemade car show, but we also rented some lighting gear this time. Yes, and we were emboldened to do that because of the support of our patrons. If you like what we're doing here, you can also support us on Patreon. We'll put a link in the thingy, um, but it's also on our website, crossthreaded.us. Yeah. If you want to see a car show that isn't beholden to any corporate overlords, jump on board with us. A couple of very kind people are already on board and we sincerely appreciate it. Yeah, we really do. Now, hey, babe, yes. guess what happens if you press down hard on a clutch pedal and there's no clutch line installed on the master cylinder? Uh, the master cylinder squirts fluid everywhere. Mm, yeah, good guess. <laughs> we put some painter's tape on the chassis to help keep hydraulic fluid off our powder coat. Yes. Now, painter's tape is magical. You can tell because it jumps from the trans tunnel to the dash area if you don't watch out. Next, we are going to install the steering shaft. It's one bad mother- Shut your mouth! But I'm talking about a shaft! Now, we have two problems with this bad mother shut your mouth. For one, it's too short. Nothing? I don't make those jokes, honey. You do. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, the steering shaft is too short and it also contacts our racing beat header. Now, the header is dented for clearance in a Miata already, 
but the Exocet's designed to be a little narrower with the driver a tad lower relative to the motor. Yes, so we're gonna have to make a new dent in the header. Now, as we know from watching Freiburger and Engine Masters dent the hell out of a small block Chevy header with zero effect, we expect to see zero loss in power as a result of the dent. Which is good because our VP-4W only made 140 brake horsepower from the factory. And that was 17 years ago. too much. Now we're not going to include all the video of us hitting this thing with a hammer because it was a lot. Yeah, we took it out of the car, hammered on it a bunch, put it back in, checked the fit, took it back out, and repeated that process for most of the day. Yeah. We finally got there though. Now here you can see me lengthening the shaft. Babe, I'm lengthening the shaft here. Honey, you're also clamping it with vice grips and hitting it with a hammer. Youch. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Join us next time to see us installing a fuel tank and some brake parts. Yes, and our Miata really is for sale, so buy it. You can autocross the crap out of it. And you can absolutely stance it if you want to. Check out our website for details on how to do face tweetograms with us at crossthreaded.us. Yes, thanks for watching and leaving your comments. We love them. And you. Some of you. Two of you. <laughs> <laughs>